doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? Well, here to talk with me about the connection between chocolate chip cookies and Social Security's Dave Freitag of Mass Mutual. Dave, what's up with this connection? Well, everybody likes milk. Everybody likes eggs. Everybody likes chocolate and flour. By themselves, they're okay. But you know, when you mix them together and you cook them, you get that magic chocolate chip cookie and you say, that's a better thing. And strangely enough, there are provisions in the Social Security law that work just the same way. One plus one equals three. When you combine for the right circumstances, delayed uh, filing or, or voluntary suspension and retroactive refunds. So let's talk about how those two could work together very quickly. Let's suppose Alan in this particular case was furloughed from his job, 67 years old, still happy doing what he's doing, but unsecure about how the future is going to be able to play out for him and what the cash might look like uh, coming in to keep his uh, family afloat and keep his bills afloat. One thing he could do is he could immediately apply for his social security benefit. And in the process, look back and say, I'd like to have them start six months ago and gets a lump sum check for six months. That could be a lot of money. Could be 12, 13, 14, $15,000 in a single payment. But then Alan says, but I don't wanna miss earning those delayed retirement credits. So after he receives that lump sum check, he could then voluntarily suspend his benefits, earn delayed retirement credits. And at the end of the day, at age 70, he wouldn't have missed all that much from his total benefit that could be payable at age 70. He's offset that early filing with those delayed retirement credits. So in that particular case, the combination is worth more than the sum of the parts. Does that make any sense? Well, it does. It's sort of like having your cake and eat it too. Yeah, it's sign again. <laughs> or your chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> or need it too. There's a couple things to remember. Uh, if, you've, if you do voluntary suspension and someone's attached to that particular record, then they would be cut off. So if the spouse was attached, that might not work. You have to remember if you're paying for Medicare, that those payments would be turned off. You could pay those quarterly. So there are a couple of reasons why this might not work. But it certainly gives people another choice to look at and say, maybe this could be a good solution. We're working with a client who this was a perfect solution because they just needed that short term fix, but didn't want to penalize themselves for the rest of their retirement life, was willing to take a small reduction to get access to that cash up front. Dave, thanks ever so much for that recipe. It's going to be uh, a time honored one in my book. <laughs>